Shalom, Sergeant Major High Mailspin coming at you from Gaza, Southern Gaza. And I want to talk to you about what's being talked about, discussed all over Israel. The events that led up to the October 7th attacks. How did it even happen? What caused that to even add that massacre they did on us? How did Hamas surprise us so much? We Israelis always knew the border was very secure. Anyone who's ever served in an area like me, we would say the border is taken very seriously. They would never want to do that. You know, the truth is we don't know how this happened. You know, what in the world led to this, the months and years uh, leading to it? It's going to take us a long time to get to uh, the bottom of this. We're going to have to do some research here to find out why the intelligence failed so badly. You know, we know in part sometimes, and the intelligence community was really, really sure that Hamas would never try anything like that, that they were deterred that from the former missions, that they, uh, they they would never do something like that. But that was a big mistake. And there are lessons we can learn uh, from this. In the Bible, Peter the Galilean, right? He's from the Galilee. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, he says, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, he prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Isn't that just like Hamas, our enemy, seeking uh, the weak uh, areas, how they can break in through the foxholes? Uh, it's true in a spiritual sense. As it is in a physical sense, the enemy wants to kill us, to, wants evil for us. And what we do often as believers and in the state of Israel, we just convince ourselves that everything's okay and everyone's, everything's going to be fine. And even if a conflict comes, we, we've we been able to survive it, we'll be fine, it's all going to be okay. And but what if the enemy's planning something a little different? What if the enemy has learned from our responses in the past and now is coming with a different strategy to catch us off guard? This is why, as the state of Israel, we have to be more vigilant. We have to be more on guard. Don't let any, don't leave any room for the enemy. We have to grow with our spiritual weapons as well. Learn from this. And I know many in Israel are asking themselves how they can grow and make sure nothing like October 7th ever happens again, never again, again. Uh, but I want to ask, as believers, do we also learn from our mistakes? Have we learned from the times that we've uh, failed, the way the enemy has been able to attack us in the past? And I want to ask you something. Ask God today, what is it? Even if it's just one thing that you can change in your walk with them, doors you can close, uh, protecting the home front, uh, how you can have a stronger walk with the Lord. Uh, okay, what is just one thing that you can change to better equip yourself for what's to come?